So one of the biggest problems about living in a city like Hong Kong is that it is now getting very, very expensive. And I happened to see a couple of these concrete water pipes uh, on the construction site. And uh, I walked inside and I found that, surprisingly, they were quite interesting to occupy. OPOD is an experimental, low-cost housing architectural design, which is using concrete water pipe to create a house which is about 15 square meters so that people can live at an affordable level. Concrete water pipe is actually quite good for housing. It is some kind of, it is a material that uh, we are used to. It's good insulation properties. It is very inexpensive. So OPOD itself is a long-term housing solution, but it is designed to be transient. So what we do is we locate these OPODs on spare pieces of land to create fast housing for people. And then once the land is no longer available, we move this housing to another piece of land and make it available for other people to live. So the OPOD you see here is a prototype and it is about 15 square meters inside. It is about two and a half meters wide and two and a half meters tall. OPOD's design is based on a simple approach of using simple materials to get the best out of the space. Now all of these furniture has been made out of recycled material from our construction site. In this living area, it is organized around this uh, sofa bed, which is able to be folded out into a bed, but then closed off into a sofa with some storage below. And then a series of customized shelving and plugs for people to put their own possessions here. So the shelving system is a clever reuse of our scaffolding from site. The main support is actually made out of cut scaffolding tubes which have been sprayed black. And then basically these uh, shelves themselves have leftover timber panels which we were again sprayed yellow. We've got a uh, recyclable bamboo floorboard system which creates a flat area of the flat. The lighting is also very simple here, but also very effective. What we do is we've just taken some fluorescent tubes and we use it to bounce the light from the ceiling of the O-Pod to create a kind of a, a wider, more spatial effect. Otherwise, we just have some LED lighting under the shelves to accent the things which are placed on display. The kitchen is actually a very, very small space towards the back of the O-Pod. It is just made out of a, a basin, a fridge and a microwave. As a kind of uh, story behind the O-Pod, it was very much designed for young people. And we think that young people don't cook very much these days, they just reheat. So the bathroom of the O-Pod is right at the back of the uh, unit. And uh, basically it's a tiled uh, room, which has a toilet and a shower in the same space. We encourage people to open the windows here at the front, to open the door. And at the back of the O-Pod, there's also a very big large openable window. You could have nice air coming through the O-Pod through the front and the back and really maximize on any cross ventilation. The whole O-Pod comes in at about 150,000 Hong Kong dollars. Now this is about one fifth the cost it takes to build a conventional apartment of the same size here in Hong Kong. I think in the future we must experiment more with the materials that we build. And I think as architects, we must become more creative and bold in proposing new design solutions that brings the best of a city and solve some of the problems inherent to a city. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo and the notification bell to receive updates on our latest episode.